Life was safe and secure. For these young primates, they were born into a healthy clan, but the generation before them struggled and learned the hard way because Africa 10 million years ago was unforgiving. But as tragedy strikes, more experience is gained. And in a game of survival, it's almost always about knowledge. Thus, through time, the clan became much healthier, stronger, the numbers grew and the family bonds were powerful. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let us go back to a time where the tiger was terrorizing my family. Go, get out of town. Oh. I need another stick. That's kind of annoying. For over two generations, this saber-toothed tiger hunted down and feasted on primary. Might as well grab some of this fruit, because you never know. At first, I kept to the trees, playing it safe. Excellent, she was just hungry. And then, you can come back with me. I bonded with a new female. I'm, I'm like learning on the go, so everything's a bit... Okay. It was time to nest and expand the troop, because everything we know exists together in a delicate balance. And if you end up enjoying my story about a clan with six plus strong and still growing, then please don't forget to drop a like on my video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, kids will get extra XP. I'm starting like even... And only now, two generations later, was I really starting to feel attached. I'm starting to recognise the skeletons that's laying around and... Oh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Look at this clan, it's getting there. I'm actually so proud of this. Now the clan will conclude their daily exercises. But what she can do is, if anything, she, she might not help me in combat so much, but she can carry me a spare weapon pretty much. I crafted a handful of spears and gave one to the elder that was with me. Oh, what? There's something around. But the tiger was no longer lurking. She was ready to pounce. Crap. It's in the goddamn tribe. My nemesis was now hunting within the perimeter of the settlement. This is something I never anticipated. Interesting. I need a weapon. And with a crafted spear on the ground, I picked it up and turned around, and just in the nick of time, there we go. She wasn't dead. I had to finish her off quickly. Oh, you beauty. I stabbed the beast through its eye, penetrating the brain. Nice. And after years of being terrorized by this giant cat. It actually came up into the freaking clan, like right up here. She had finally been killed. Well, we got it. Scarred, injured, and carrying two juveniles. This alpha of the troop was one tough monkey. It kind of hurt though. Now I need... I need to, uh, I need some mud. I'll take that too on there. I do know where some mud is, up near where the snake was living. I took another outsider in. This male was now under the protection of the clan. Come, come join the clan, friend. Alright. And when I returned to the safety of my home, Finally, my brain would send electronical pulses and chemical signals to transmit information. And now with the new ability to train my clan members to defend themselves, life as I know it was about to improve. Grab this female with the child and she's gonna come with me. Follow me. It was time to explore. I took a female carrying a child with me. Leave the rest of the clan here. We uh, see what's out and about. I don't know if I can make that jump. I crossed over the dangerous rushing water to the other side. So I'm pretty sure I go through like more stamina because I'm holding two weapons and a kid now. So that's like, I'm pretty sure. Scaling the mass of trees to a higher elevation. Where's my other monkey chimp? Yep, there. Cool, still coming. I might even do actually, just give her a weapon. I was used to going out by myself, but now I had a counterpart. Yeah. Eat some of these, get your shield up. On the road we had a feast, and it gave us a buff for broken bones and protection from the frost. I want to go all the way out that way. I might have to walk through some unknown. Now in my comment section, some people said elders don't like suffer from the unknown. I probably should have brought an elder out, but that'll be fine. Dead ahead, there was a ground level cave. I had a weapon, and would proceed forward to investigate, but little did I know what was waiting for me. There we go, got one stick into him. I should have known better. Of course, there was another tiger on the prowl. Give me that. Goddamn tiger. You come back, you'll get killed now. Now that my spears were impaled in the side of a giant cat, I would have to craft up some fresh ones. Cool. Oh, oh. What was he pointing at? That was interesting. I swear he said, like, home. The female clan member that was with me felt like this could be a good place to settle down and call a new home. 
Instead, I chose not to and pressed forward into the unknown. Go, 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 go. This ain't good. But spending too much time and getting lost out there, hysteria would send us back. Now, luckily, it does just send you back here, though, with, with your current monkeys. So that's I decided to swap onto my elder. Back onto your old grandfather. Now, you come with me, little kid. Just so I can gain some further experience. Hopefully, I don't lose this. Grandfather Eddie, he was meant to retire after all. I bring my elder out of retirement and sent him into the wild because he had no fear of the unknown and was willing to traverse the landscape. No idea where I'm going. And with a grandchild on his back, he travelled far until he reached a canyon. Holy oh, crap. He was being hunted by another tiger. However, this predator truly underestimated the prey. Get out of here. Yeah, you run. Here's my stick. Look at it go. Yeah, I've got too much experience for you now, Tiger. Barely breaking a sweat, I continued on the journey. Let's try to cross over there somewhere. A storm had moved in. That's a jump that looks like I can't make from this side. <laughs> I most definitely can't make that. Oh, hello, birds. How beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if I can get around the, around the edge of the cliff and around there. I've got a long way to go to get home though now. I climbed across the wet surface of the rocks. This map is quite incredible though. There's a bridge down there. Oh. Here we go. There was now a lot of distance between me and the settlement. Give me some of that. Man, this map is insane. After soaking in the landscape's beauty, I crafted a fresh weapon. There we go. Cool. Oblivious to it at the time, but the rules of Mother Nature were slowly catching up to me. Water and sleep. Oh. I travelled so far that my legs could barely carry me. I was exhausted, dehydrated, and with a child on the back. Oh, damn, my... You might actually die out here. I was taking damage and starting to black out. A drink of water? I don't think so. I dare say that that's ocean water. That's... A giant freshwater lake was extremely close, but when stumbling my way down to the water, I must have aroused this giant warthog because without hesitation, it attacked. Oh, no. I'd been pummeled into the dirt. God damn it. I walked into a bad area. And practically crawled to the waterline. Oh, there's a crocodile right there. There was a clearing, a dangerous opportunity, but I had no choice. Hopefully that's fresh water. I don't think so though. There's no way that's fresh. I managed to sneak in two mouthfuls before I got ambushed. I'm so gonna die out here. Honestly, I thought I was dead, but something spooked the crocodile, and I ran off. I'm not gonna complain. The croc let me have a drink. I'm just lucky to be alive. I need some stamina before I like keel over and die. This is not good, I need But I was not out of danger yet. That climb felt like it took forever, draining of hope by the second. I'm, I'm climbing to my death. But if I can just get up here, get a little bit of sleep, I might. Death was knocking on the door. Looks like this grandfather's gonna... He's actually gonna die out here. There's, there's a tiger over there and everything. Oh wow. I had to lay down and rest, or collapse and die. Right, I'm getting some sleep. That was way too close. I woke up to the sound of an apex predator throffing from the mouth. Alright, let, let's finish you. I've been bitten, beaten and pummeled into the ground by giant warthogs. Defending myself against these tigers was now second nature. Get out of here. It's two in it now. Oh man. This, I, I don't know how I'm going to get back to the clan. I mean, i got like no health. Goddamn hippos over there. For a moment there, I was given a break and able to get in a few mouthfuls of water. And after it, I made my way up the hill and that giant boar came at me again. Mm, I don't even know how I can get back. It's so far back. The clan is so far back. I decided to return home to the settlement, but it was going to be a long and slow trip. Continue. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. Not quite. We're actually a while away still. If I can cross here. I tried to cross, but I was lacking the strength to make a solid jump. Uh, I'm getting dragged. And when the river grabbed me, I was left to her mercy. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh, what a slow trip back. We're getting there. Physically broken, but I made it. The final stretch. But the settlement, it was still at the top of the cliffs. Just gonna climb right up this big tree. Hopefully I've still got the strength to even climb. Because it's a long way. Um, chewing for help now. Oh god. I might not even make it. I'm back. I'm back. And all that, and I never even went to where I was planning on going. I just like, went a completely different place. I finally made it to the safety of my home. I could put this elder to rest and swap over to the alpha. I might go to rest and I'll come down here and just grab some. I shall return with further experience. I crossed over the same river that I'd crossed over many times before. Let's go, lady. Keep up, monkey. Keep up. Liftable rock. Cool. I'm gonna stick to the top for now. Need some of this. A little bit more. Have my little shield and my cross. Once again, I walked into the unknown. Where is it? Come on. But unfortunately, hysteria got me. Back at the clan now recovering, I contemplated my next moves. I should have taken out another elder. Instead I took out the young male once again, and when I was trying to catch up to where I was, the tiger had ambushed me. Get out of here. After years of hard experience, the primates were now the apex. That's the white one now. Killed the white one too now. Nice. Hello monkey, did you want to join me? Another outsider would join my ranks. Chew? Something like that. I crafted a handful of spears and shared them with the rest of my companions. Just make some half sharp ones that'll do. It'll keep anything at bay at least. Here, take this. You're gonna need one too mate. Take this. And now, everyone's armed again, with at least a semi weapon I pressed forward back into the unknown. There was a cave, and I just had to know what was inside. Oh, I'm going crazy already. It didn't take long. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I decided to take one of my healthier female elders out. She's a bit older, so she's a bit worn out, but... And with no fear of the unknown, she could easily explore. She pushed far beyond the clan's known boundaries. She discovered new landmarks, opening up all sorts of new possibilities. The Woodland Dead Zone. Interesting. What have we got out here? Oh yeah, we've got a lion over there. Let's try to avoid him. Let's climb, 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 climb. Look at that view. Right, birds. I want to go discover that landmark over there. I scaled the rocks and travelled to the next landmark. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, this just looks like somewhere you could have a campsite. You could live here. So I so wonder. Because it seems pretty big. Nice. No new location in a second. New landmark discovery. This beautiful new oasis was the ideal location to set up a settlement. Look at it. It's definitely a good place for it. The water was fresh and crystal clear. Definitely. I'm bringing the clan here, I think. I'm definitely going to bring them here. Let's go back and get the rest of the clan. What's that smoke? Something smoking out there. I started construction on a new bed. Put this over here. I think I need a couple more. I've only ever made the one dead, so... I, I don't know if this is a stone. I think it is. There we go. I wonder if this will bring all the clan members here to me automatically, or do I have to go get them? You could say I did a little dance in excitement. Interesting. It'd be better if I had to go grab them, that's for sure. I completed the objective and now we had a new settlement. But I had to return to the rest of the clan to let them know of the news. I'm glad it didn't just teleport them all here. That would be like... 
too easy. I crafted a new spear. Let's go get the rest of the clan. And then prepared for the journey home. I'll definitely be checking that out on my back. Oh, damn, I wish the journey home was quiet, but it wasn't. Berries. There it is there. The settlement, we're almost back. And finally I'm gonna move the clan. I got home, but I needed a second to catch my breath. <laughs> Alright, we're back. See there. Weapon. Yeah. One more. Alright, let's go back to the boss. And this is where I finally swapped back over to the young alpha. Yeah, there he is. Uh, switch. The female elder had successfully found a new settlement. She reported it to the alpha and he prepared the troop. So, are they all going to follow me? Nice. What about all these ones? Oh, can I only have so many? At a time. No, follow me. Follow me. What about the older? Follow me. Let's arm up with some sticks. I mean, they're not my sharp sticks in the world, but they'll be right. You take one. Not everyone's gonna have one, or maybe they will. You've already got one. The whole clan had gathered around in one cluster. Weapons were dispatched. More weapons that we need. Have this spear. Everybody following? This is one big movement. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> and I knew there was one more, so you're all coming with us too. No one's getting left behind. Uh, give her a weapon. There you go, darling. Let's move out. This is going to look awesome. Let's go, apes. Ape by itself weak, but ape together, strong. <laughs> that was the timing on me turning around on that. <laughs> I was climbing a rock face, scouting ahead when I heard a giant boar attacking a clan member. They get out of here. But now that the clan had learned the ability to defend for themselves, he handled it like a champion. Very nice. I think one of the clan members is down a stick though now. Let's keep moving, guys. We'll quick clear these pigs. Just did that for the hard. <laughs> I made quick work of this giant boar and put it out of its misery. Nice. And of course, after that, I crafted a spear. So you can, you can play without the whole hard on once you get to know all the sounds by the looks of it. Alright, I'll clear the pig out so it's not a problem. Go on. Just keep moving. Just keep moving, gents. Just keep moving. A bit of a track ahead of us still. My fear of the unknown. Where's an elder? With most threats cleared by the Alpha, I could now swap onto an elder because as a clan we worked together and he could scout on ahead. I will be the eyes for the clan. Let's keep going guys. This will most likely be the resting place for these two elders in the end because like after this generation grows up, these two will die. I actually have a third elder in there, I'm not exactly sure where she came from. She was an outsider that I collected and just became an elder during the last generation. But the two that were brought, um, born in from the original generation. And finally, after a long, arduous journey, the clan had made it to their new destination and could finally settle in. That's right for using tools. All right, so there's like extra mutations and stuff that you get. I'm slowly working it out. I'm starting to understand it. The mutations rebirthing and that. We're opening up the tree a bit anyway now. Right, let's see what happens if I evolve now. Will I go forward in time or not? I'm curious. Let's find out. The real question is will I still be at my new settlement? Here we go. So here's all the rewards that I'm getting. 
I didn't know what the hell I was doing in episode one. So I like didn't earn anything when I first evolved, but this time. I had four deaths, yep, makes sense. Negative 100 mil, 100,000 years for the deaths. Eight births, 40,000 years. Okay, so I've evolved. We started to evolve faster than science and made a leap year of 868,289 years. Here we go, new species. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Oh, I made a different settlement altogether. God damn it, <laughs> I literally just got to that other one. Don't look very different, look the same. All right. Then again, we still have a big clan. Uh, oh yeah, I think we are like slightly, slightly different. I don't know. No, I feel like I'm the same looking. Cause he's here, maybe. How about that? We're in a whole new place. I wonder where I am now. So I, I'm starting to get it. So through each evolution process, gr process right, you're meant to gain as much experience as you can to leap forward by like going out in the world, discovering all the things, doing everything that's necessary, birth, growing as big as clan as possible. It's starting to really make sense to me now. So in my first episode, I actually went backwards in time because I did like nothing before I evolved. But now we're almost a million years into the future. However, ladies and gentlemen, for now, this is where the story ends. And I hope you, my friends, enjoyed the video. This is your boy, our time at the end of another epic tale. Signing out.